It's another day that God has blessed us to live this life and give him glory. Amen. Well, let's go to the throne of grace in prayer. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. Lord, we just come excited about who you are. And God, we just thank you for your peace and your love and your joy and all that you rain down upon us each and every day. Now, Lord, as we go forward in this day, we ask that you would be with us, that you would cover us and you surround us. Keep us in your care. And we give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, praise the Lord. <clears throat> you know, I'm just excited about what God is doing and where he's taking us. And, you know, in my time of study, I was I was just kind of uh, looking over some things and realizing that, you know, it is God's desire that we live a life um, that brings him glory. But we live a life that is for us, that we live a happy life, you know. And, and one of the things God was sharing with me is he said, you know, happy people pursue Jesus. And, and that's really why you're happy. And, and sometimes we think happiness has to be everything going right, you know, but that's not necessarily it. In the scripture, John 10, 27, it says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And that's the key to our happiness is knowing Jesus and following him allowing him to speak into our lives and into our hearts and into all that is going on, just allowing him to be right there. And so um, it's very important that we know this, that uh, when it comes to the things of God, God really desires for us to be happy. But you know, uh, in this world that we live in, sometimes we look around at all this going on and all the things that are going on and you we like, this, this can't be. But you know what? Happiness uh, is based off of a word called happenstance, which has everything to do with your circumstances. And if your circumstances are great, then you're happy. And if your circumstances are not great, then you're not happy. But God um, doesn't deal with just that happenstance. Our joy, our, our joy and our happiness comes from the joy of the Lord. Amen. And that is something different. The joy of the Lord is something that God puts deep down on the inside of us that allows us to have that joy and that peace regardless to what is going on. And that comes from the scripture I read. It says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So that's why it's so important, not that we just know about Jesus. You know, it's not enough for us to say, oh, I know the Lord and I know my word and I know this and I know that you need to hope that God knows you. That's the important thing. It's not enough for us to know about him, but we need to make sure that God knows us, that we are a priority in his life. Amen. That he knows our names and that we can hear his voice. And when he speaks, we follow. That's what God means when, when he said we need to know him. We need to know not just of him, but we need to intimately know about him. It's about that relationship that we need to build. See, um, his presence uh, causes our situations in life. The presence of God will cause you to go from uh, being sad to having the joy of the Lord. When you're in his presence, amen, Jesus is personally invested in us doing well and living a great life and that life more abundantly. So uh, we have to recognize there are certain things that we have to do and things that need to be put in place in order for us to live that life and be happy in the things that we are doing. Um, you know, in Matthew, uh, the fifth chapter where it talks about when Jesus said, and, and seeing the multitude, he went up into the mountain and when he was set, his disciples came unto him in that situation. They were up in the mountain and, and Jesus was trying to encourage the people because they began to tell them about how they felt and what was going on. And, and Jesus saw their problems, their pain and their pressure. And he began to talk to them and began to tell them. And that's where Jesus gave the disciples. He gave them the Beatitudes. And if you know the Beatitudes, you know all of the Beatitudes start with the word blessed. Huh? Blessed is the man. Blessed is this. Blessed. They all start with blessed. And that meaning of blessed is happy or fortunate. Amen. And so, um, in short, Jesus gave them the reasons that they should 
be happy. Amen. The reasons that they should be content. But in all of this, what it comes down to is that person that learns how to do well in the things of God um, can be happy or can have the joy of the Lord. But it, you know what? It comes through humility. Our happiness, um, our joy, it comes through being humble in the things of God. Amen. Um, what is it? In Second Chronicles 7 and 14, it says, If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. He said, if my people, which are called by my name, you know, do you consider yourself to be called by the name of Jesus, huh? For Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. God is saying here, look, in this world that we live in today, our land is sick. It needs healing. And so God is waiting on us to humble ourselves, you know, repent, turn from our wicked ways. You know, we're looking for happiness and joy everywhere we can get it. And God is telling us right here, if we humble ourselves and pray and seek his face and turn from our wicked ways, then would he hear from heaven and hear our and heal our land. And so in all of our seeking to enjoy life and to have what we want and, and be happy about this and happy about that, we have to seek the Lord. And that comes through humbling ourselves and allowing ourselves to do what God has, uh, has called us to do. Listen to what God is saying so that we can humble ourselves before him because God promised that he would heal our land. Now we have to do our part. And our part in that is that we would humble ourselves. Come on, you know, we have to really think about this. We have to really think about what it means to humble yourself and how to put ourselves in that right position that God could heal our land. You know, we got to get, come on, give God something to work with. He's just asking for a little bit. He's saying, repent, come on, get right before me. Help me know that you recognize what I'm trying to do in your life. And so we need to do that. You know what? We need to ask God to heal our land. And so that we can walk in the joy of the Lord and stop being happy here, sad here, happy here, sad here, happy here, sad here. The joy of the Lord is a consistent thing in your heart and in your mind. So even when the tough things come, guess what? You can still have the joy of the Lord. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 for 7. Have a blessed day.